Okay, so here we have question number nine from February, March 2016, um, page four, question number 9A. Um, we have a regular hexagon. It says it's a OPQRST is a regular hexagon. A regular hexagon means all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same size. Okay, and they told us that OP is equal to the vector X and OT is equal to the vector Y. Now, um, they've told us to write down in terms of X and or Y in simple form Q to R. Okay, now, most people say oh, Q to R is equal to Y because it's opposite and parallel to O to T, which is correct. Okay, but if I said, if I said to them, prove to me that's parallel, not that you have to do in this question. But you don't have to prove that it's parallel in this question. I don't ask you to prove it. Okay, but if I was to ask a lot of students, why is Q to R parallel to O to T, they would not be able to tell me. And so it just looks like it's parallel. That's not good enough in these type of questions. It's not good enough. I mean, it is in this type of question. Yes, it's good enough. But as a mathematician, you should have um, a bit more of an understanding. So I'm going to explain to you why they are parallel, just for your information. Now, I know that in a regular hexagon, all the angles are the same size. And here we have this really good for us, QRG. This is like the exterior angle in a regular hexagon. And if there's six exterior angles, which are all equal, and the sum of all the exterior angles is 360, then this angle came off to 60 degrees. Now, if this angle is 60 degrees, then this angle, okay, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle must be 120 degrees. Okay, now, if I were to draw a line, to make this into a, like a triangle here, okay? Now, I know that, I'll do another one from there just to make it clear. We have like a set of six triangles, and this angle here is 360 divided by six, they're all equal triangles, so that's 60 degrees as well. Okay, that's 60 degrees, and that's now been cut in half, that's 60 degrees, and that's, they're all equilateral triangles, so all these lengths are the same. And in addition to that, this side, okay, these sides are parallel to each other, okay, because that's 60 and that's 60, they make a pair of alternate angles, okay, so, so on, for example, if that, all these angles are 60, so, for example, we want to prove that, we want to find what Q to R is, well, I know that this angle is 60, and this angle is 60, so this is like a pair of alternate angles, so, O to T, not only is it the same length as Q to R, we know that from the fact it's a regular hexagon, we also know that it's parallel. So these two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, so a regular hexagon has this property where the opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. Okay, so we can say that very confidently now that Q to R is definitely equal to the vector Y without any guesswork. Now P to Q, P to Q is we can use the same thing that we've made now. P to Q is like we're going from P to this point here. Okay, let's call it X. P to X and then from X to Q. So P to X is parallel. You can see it's parallel to O to, Q, o to T. These are parallel lines. If that's 60 degrees, that's 60 degrees. Okay, you see that's 60, that's 60. They're parallel lines. Okay, and it's the same length. These are all equilateral triangles. So P to X, P to we're going to find P to Q. P to Q is the same as going from, look of it, from P to X, the X I put there myself, plus from X to Q. Okay, now P to X is a vector Y, and X to Q is a vector X. So it's X plus Y, or Y plus X, as you, as you wish. Okay, so it's X plus Y, X plus Y. Very simple stuff here. And part three, the position vector of S. Now, the position vector of S, okay, is basically from O to S. So when, you, when you see the word position vector, it always means from O. So the word position vector, the word position vector means from O to whatever letter comes up. It means from O to S, referring back to the origin. Okay, they told us the origin is O. So the, the position vector of S is O to S. So O to S, now to, if you want to get from O to S, there's a very simple way of doing it. You can go from O to P. And then from P to S. I'll write it over there. O to S is like going from O to P and then from P to S. Okay, now O to P is X and P to S is 
was y plus y two one. Okay, two one. So you got x plus two y. Okay, x plus two y. Or you could say if you want two y plus x. You carry this on, make an equal point here. Two y plus x is the same difference. Okay, so it's x plus two y is a position vector of s over to s. X plus two y, and that wraps up question number nine. A and 9B is in the next video.